All right, so if we're gonna do color, we're gonna use oil pastels. You will need a dark, a light, and a white. You will also need, mm, that's it for right now. Um, so the first thing is, is I'm going to go at my dark and just kind of trace things. So I have my eyebrows. I'm going to trace this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's kind of making your lines. I'm actually not going to trace inside my eye, just the outside. I'm not pushing too hard because I'm going to blend these later, so I don't need it super, super hard. All right, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm going to think about shadows. So the first shadow I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly go in with cheekbones, just kind of from the ear pointing towards the nose or the mouth. Then I'm gonna do the shadow of the nose. So it's gonna be kind of lightly, like a little triangle, going for the edge of the nose, coming up next to the eye, and then going to the eyebrow. So not touching the middle, but kind of sweeping next to the nose coming up and going to the eyebrow. Also wanna do a little bit under the nose cause there's a shadow there. And a kind of an upside down C shape underneath of the mouth. This is gonna sound weird, but the next thing I want you to do is white. In the middle of the nose, I want you to color white and then go up the middle. I know you can't see it on my paper but it's gonna be like a little ball right here in the middle of your nose and then goes up. I also want you to do a triangle on top. Let me just, I'll trace it so you guys can see it. And a triangle up top here. You're going to do a triangle that goes from the eyes kind of towards here and then up again. This kind of whole triangle. Go ahead and put a little bit of white on the chin. And right under the eyebrows. Okay, that should do it. To make the skin lighter and darker will depend on how much you blend it. So let's just start with blending it and then I'll make it darker. So the first thing you're gonna do is with your kind of tan color, you're going to blend and color in all those shadows. Even the edge of your face. So color over all these brown lines. And then try to color everywhere that is not the white area quite yet. Try to do it evenly. You don't have to push too hard, but you do want to nice, have a nice even coat. Here on the nose. All right, so we're gonna take our white and we're going to try to blend. So let's try the nose first. Get pretty close to the middle with the tannish color. And you're gonna, with the white, you're going to blend by Getting little circular motions on the white, but also touch the edges so that way it pulls some of the color into the middle. Up here too, touch the edges, pull the white, pull the color a little bit into the middle. 
Now I'm gonna start coloring kind of harder. And I'm also gonna color a little bit on the white. So that way it gives it a little tone before I start blending again. Oh my goodness, my finger was dirty. Oh, I'm gonna scratch it off. No big deal. I was doing the charcoal before this. So I'm gonna slowly, carefully blend into that area back and forth with the white and the tan, just trying to make it seem still a little bit lighter. All right, the next one I'm gonna do is around my eyes. So around the white area, I'm gonna go ahead and color a little harder. Maybe color a little bit on top of the white area. And then I'm gonna take the white and I'm going to blend. Color a little bit on top of it. And keep blending. It's a little too white right here, so it's more like a trestle triangle underneath. Now I said to try to make it darker, what you do is basically just bring in a little more brown and then just keep blending so that the main tone is like a darker brown, but you still have areas where it is lighter. So I'll make this side a little tanner, darker than the other side. Okay, working down here. Coloring it harder. I might be losing some details, but I'm going to get them back once I go back and try to get them. Underneath your chin, there will be a good amount of dark because your chin juts out, so there is a shadow created. Put right back here. Okay, let's talk about your lips. Um, the top of your bottom lip is going to be brighter. Lips in general are a little pinker. So what I like to do is add a little pink or you decide what your lips are more like. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more brown here. But then I'm gonna use my tan to blend it because it's going to still be similar to my skin tone. I'm going to leave the top of my bottom lip white though, so that way it looks like a highlight. And then you can kind of define the bottom of the lips, so the bottom of the bottom lip and the bottom of the top lip a little more with the brown. All right, eyes. There's a highlight in your eye. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in white. And then it gets a little tricky. So we have our pupil and I'm gonna make these eyes green. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a dark green on the outside of that and the outside of the pupil, outside of the iris and the outside of the pupil. And then I'm gonna take a very light green or even a white, I'm gonna take this minty green, go over it a little bit and go in. Go over it a little bit and go in. I'm gonna try to leave a little line of white in between my two kind of hemispheres of color. So it's like the outside ring and the inside ring. I'm gonna try to leave a little bit of white as well as a little bit on my highlight. If you want to, you can add a little more detail. 
with darker colors. Let's see, my hair is gonna be, my eyebrows are gonna be black. I can go ahead and add that. I need a bit of pink in my corner of my eye for my tear duct. These eyes are so uneven, but some people's eyes are uneven, so that's okay. Oh, she's intense. Okay, ears treated the same way. Darker on the outside, lighter on the inside. Kind of lost my nose there, so I'm gonna take my brown and reestablish areas of my nose. Maybe we get brave and do a tiny bit of black on my nostrils so they stand out. Ooh, maybe get brave and put a little bit of black on my lips too. Feeling brave today. Okay. I'm gonna do a small section of hair, but hair I want you to treat similar to the skin. Um, you can start with a dark color, don't go completely dark. So even if my hair is black, I'm still just going to start with some basic lines and then kind of think about how your hair is in terms of lines. And maybe if there's, if I'm wavy, I might have some highlights in my hair. Let's see here, where I use a white to kind of blend Ooh, interesting. But we'll go more into that a little later. You can also put white on top to make interesting highlights in your hair. I don't really know what color I was going for. It's brown now. there will be some resource videos on hair soon.